almost everyone has been bitten by a mosquito or a fly. Some insects can be transmitters or vectors for spreading viruses, bacteria, and so on. Diseases spread through infected insects are on the rise. Due to climate change, globalization, various environmental and social factors, these insects and the diseases that they can transmit are spreading worldwide. The Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp hosts a unique research hub for insect-borne diseases equipped with ultra-modern insectary infrastructure. The scientists are doing groundbreaking research at the interaction between the pathogen, the insect, human, and the environment. This allows the Institute to contribute to the prevention, detection, and control of insect-borne infectious disease outbreaks. You may have heard about the Asian tiger mosquito, which is spreading towards Northern Europe. This species can transmit chikungunya and many other viruses. Meet her sister, the yellow fever mosquito. This mosquito is the main vector for dengue, Zika, and yellow fever viruses. But the insectary also hosts native mosquitoes, such as the common house mosquito. This species is also known as the West Nile virus vector. Every mosquito likes a different setting. The researchers make it comfortable for them by providing the optimal cage size, food, light, and temperature. The female mosquitoes need blood to produce eggs. Without a blood meal, there are no mosquitoes. After the blood meal, the female mosquito will lay eggs. They are very tiny, and it is easy to overlook them in their natural habitat. The eggs are laid on or above the water surface, but some of them can survive if they fall dry. This is an important characteristic of invasive Aedes mosquitoes, which can be transported around the globe without having access to water. The larvae will hatch out of the eggs in water. They grow very fast and have to molt four times. They feed on plant material, dead insects, and microbes. At the Institute's insectary, they get luxury food, a type of fish food. After running through the fourth larval stage, the mosquito in the making goes through the pupal stage. The pupae don't need food, just air. This life stage is important to complete the transformation to the adult mosquito. The scientists study the behavior of these mosquitoes in different life stages. They identify the activity time windows of mosquitoes. They study key ecological interactions during their various life stages in the water with aquatic predators and with the larval competitors. Thus, the researchers can estimate which is the dominant species under certain climate and food conditions and how they can prevent mosquitoes in an eco-friendly way. The scientists assess how different populations of the Aedes and Culex mosquito species adapt to changes in the climate. Last but not least, they also develop new mosquito traps and assess the environmental risk of chemical, biological, and genetic vector control technologies. By studying the interactions between pathogen, vector, host, and environment in the insectary, the Institute of Tropical Medicine can stop the further spread of insect-borne diseases.